First of all, heart attacks are a recent phenomenon in human history. Just like yesterday you learned cancers didn't occur years ago, well, heart attacks didn't occur many years ago either. This slide was cut and pasted from the American Heart Association's website, showing that only 4% of the American population had, um, had, heart, attack, had its heart disease around 100 years ago, whereas now it's about, you know, 40% of people die of heart attacks and strokes and other cardiovascular diseases, and about 70% of people over the age of 70 die of heart disease. It's very easy to prevent heart disease. And the health equation, the first principle of a nutritarian diet, says to you, eat healthy foods, right? That's all this says. It means eat foods that have a high micronutrient bang per caloric buck. Pick your foods wisely. Pick the healthiest foods in the dietary landscape and eat more of them. That's what H equals N over C means. It means your healthy life expectancy is proportional to the micronutrient per calorie density of your diet, which means eat foods that give you a lot broad spectrum of micronutrients and phytochemicals for every calorie consumed. And when you do so, it adjusts your apostat and makes you no longer desirous of excessive calories and puts you in touch instinctually with the right amount of calories you need so you no longer have to overeat to feel okay. Now you can comfortably eat the right amount of calories. What I'm saying right now is that the moderate caloric reduction that we're able to achieve when we ratchet up the dietary excellence extends human lifespan and slows the aging process. High nutrient, lower caloric exposure suppresses genetic alterations. Even genetic defects that could have, lead to, could have led to cancer are suppressed by high nutrient, lower caloric exposure, right? We're talking about all the factors that make us age slower, like slowing the metabolic rate. What I'm saying right now is, the metabolic rate is the rate at which I'm aging. Now, if I eat more calories, let's say I eat an extra 100 calories a day. Well, that'll add up to about 10 pounds of weight in the, over a year, because 3,500 3, calories a pound, about 350 days in a year, extra 100 calories a day is about 10 extra pounds. So if I ate about an extra 100 calories a day, in a year from now, I'd weigh 10 calories more, right? Right? right. Wrong. <laughs> because what the body does is as you eat extra calories, it speeds up its metabolism to try to burn some of those calories off. So I may only burn five, ca five extra pounds, not 10, because my thyroid, my body temperature, will increase, my respiratory quotient will increase so I burn those calories off, my thyroid will increase its function, my body will put into motion a series of biological um, efforts to try to burn off those extra calories, speeding up my met metabolic rate. But that's speeding up the aging process. What I'm teaching you right now is when your body accelerates its metabolism to burn extra calories, it's aging your body faster. You following that? We're not looking to speed up a metabolic rate. We're looking to slow down a metabolic rate. Here I am at 150 pounds, and my, my caloric needs for the day, let's just say, are 1,500 calories a day. Now what if I only have 1,400, 100 calories less? Now 100 calories times 350 days a year, 3,500 calories a pound, that means a year from now I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, right? No, right, wrong. Because I'm already at lo low body fat. My body fat's below 10%. I have very, um, um, and my, the exercise I do gives a signal to my body that says, Maintain this degree of activity because he's utilizing those muscles. Let him have that muscle tissue because he needs them, he's utilizing them. Don't let them go away. So my body's gonna fight to maintain this weight and not lose the extra weight, not lose weight needlessly. So what do you think my body's gonna do to try to not lose weight as I cut back on calories? What is it gonna do? It'll slow down the metabolic rate. It'll lower the body temperature. It'll lower my respiratory quotient. It'll lower the thyroid function a little bit. It'll put into motion a series of parameters which will have me only lose a few pounds and I'll have aged slower. You're learning the secret to living to be 100 years old, to age slower. It's completely different from the comic book nutrition you hear out there in the like women's magazines or something or the other, right? They're, you're, People are trying to look for a gimmick or a trick. They can speed up the metabolic rate 
so they can eat more food and not get too fat, right? There's no people trying to do. And I'm telling you, you want to eat right and be able to eat right so you're comfortable eating a little less food so you can eat less and not get too thin. Following this now? Completely different. And you know what? You don't desire more food because you're satisfied with less too. 